Like this has just been the craziest time of my whole life. I'm not mad about it. It's just crazy and I'm having to get used to it. Like, I don't know how people do this, I guess for years and years at a time. Hey y'all, I'm Ashton. I recently left Texas for a world of adventure in the Caribbean and beyond. So join me as I journey to find the prettiest sunsets, friendliest sea life, epic views, and the best beach bars. Stay curious, friends, and enjoy the ride. After all, to live would be an awfully big adventure. Good morning. It is, well, it's 11.30, so it's close to not being morning. But, but leaving the Zion area, headed to Moab today. I got some sleep yesterday after hiking the Narrows. I've got a five hour drive, and then I've got to find a place to do some laundry because used all my clothes. Not all my clothes because let's be real I way overpacked but I've used all my hiking clothes. I need to do more hiking so need to wash those. That's it. Happy Wednesday. I think it's a Wednesday. I don't know. Time is irrelevant these days. It's fine. Everything's fine. So there were not many options in Moab um, to stay in. I didn't originally have this booked because I was supposed to leave Zion to go to Vegas and Vegas got canceled. So I just picked out this cute little place. Um, it wasn't too expensive. They had like this or an actual RV. I don't have a problem with RVs, but it wasn't what I was looking to stay in. It's super cute on the outside. It's totally doable on the inside. But I'm not here for decor. Uh, I'm here for a nice place to sleep in a hot shower. Uh, so it's got a cute little kitchen, a cute little living area. Up there has a loft that sleeps three, uh, bathroom, king size bed. Uh, I haven't slept in a king size bed and I haven't had this much space since I moved out of my house in Lake City, which tomorrow will be a year out of that house in Lake City. So, uh, I'm gonna make a pizza, drink wine, and lay across the king size bed and watch TV. That's what I'm gonna do. First, I've gotta go find a laundromat because we're going on week three? Yeah, week three. Yeah, so here I am, Moab. You can't see any of Moab from here, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do one or two of the hikes at Arches. Laundry, pizza, wine, sleep in a king size bed. Boom. It is obviously close to sunset. And um, I drove into Arches National Park to do a little sunset hike and got it real close. Um, but it's about three miles in and out. So kind of got a foggy. But this is apparently the place to watch sunset. So let's go see. I know. So this one is rated strenuous because you've got to climb that face and it's like totally just flat rock. That's interesting. Shouldn't have had all that Wendy's.
cool. Now I'm just hiking back. Hopefully, I've got my headlamp, but hopefully it doesn't get too dark. There's lots of other people hiking back as well. So, it was very hard. <laughs> well, hard for me today. Um, I'm really glad I did it. I got out, I moved my body. I mean, three miles uphill. I moved my body. So, yeah. And tomorrow, I'm gonna come back in the morning. I don't know. I think I might. I have on makeup this morning. Going back to Arches to snap a few other pictures. I have blisters all over my feet. I cannot hike, but I wanted to go see more and um, like, why the heck not? Dress cute when you did it. All right, Bluetooth connected. Uh, what I was saying originally, but I have the focus of a goldfish. I find it really interesting that I, over the last three weeks, I've adopted this like, I've taken all four of my bags to wherever I'm staying, live out of them for like two days, and then just take 30 minutes and get everything back into my car and then leave again. Like, it's not the most organized system, but I've kind of perfected it at this point. I have two more stays. I'll drive to Boulder today, uh, stay with my aunt and uncle for a few days, and then I'm gonna try and make Boulder to Dallas all in one day. It's just an awful, like, there's not much to do in between there and I really don't want to stop in between there. So I'm going to try and do all 12 hours in one long, hard day. So then I'll stay a night or two in Dallas with some family and then get back to Houston. And then I've got two weeks in Houston before I fly back down to St. Vincent and the Grenadines where my parents and my boat are. And then we will be there for two and a half weeks and then we will sail back up to St. Thomas. I would kind of, I've, I'm enjoying this. Some days I really miss routine, so I have to set a plan in place. Having a little bit of a plan helps me out, feel a little less out of control. Yeah, that's kind of my plan for like the next month, month and a half. Like this has just been the craziest time of my whole life. I'm not mad about it, it's just crazy and I'm having to get used to it. Like I don't know how people do this, I guess for years and years at a time. I don't know, maybe they, maybe they find their own routines and they got their own thing. If you enjoyed this episode, you can check out more at ashtononadventure.com or hit subscribe up at the top and follow along in the next adventure.